Hi guys, Redneck Computer Geek here, and today we're working on this yard machine behind us. This how-to kind of has to do with the yard machines and the Troy-built Broncos, the Cub Cadets that have an FNR shifter and stuff like that. But they're all a little bit different. But I end up with these off of Marketplace quite often, and it's always the same description. It works fine, it runs great, it mows great, but it will not shift into forward. Nine out of ten times, usually I show up in order to pick the machine up, and there is a pissed off teenager involved that does not want to be mowing the yard, and so they have brutally been using these machines. And what happens is, there is a shifter adjustment on these that if you are rough with them, and you keep slamming it into forward, will eventually come loose and thus stop it from going into forward. So, let's take a look at where it is on this one. We've got a carcass at the end of the lift that we can also flip over to make it even more clear to you, and then we'll go from there. So here we are with our yard machine, and you can tell that it's an FNR because of this type of shifter that's on the side. Now while we're back here just a ways, I do want to point out that on these FNRs, right here underneath this fender, there is almost always some sort of spring that holds the shifter over against the side of the machine. And if that spring gives out, it will cause the machine usually to shift into forward and neutral but refuse to go into reverse. So if that spring is missing holding that lever over, then that can cause this problem also. But what we're talking about today is down this area. So I'll come in underneath here and we'll zoom in. And what you're looking for is this adjustment right here. And if I pan down, you'll see that it's a slide that it's on. So what you do, if it refuses to go into forward, is you loosen this, you grab with a really big pair of pliers across here, and you pinch this in order to slide this over. And most of the time, these do not like to move. They usually rust weld themselves in place. So it's going to take some force to get this to move. And once that moves over, it'll be able to push this lever over far enough to go into forward. So this lever goes this way for forward, and it goes this way for reverse. Now what I'll do is I'll show you this on this carcass that we have over here, so it's even more obvious. See, if we look right here, so this is what I mean. See how this is loose? There's supposed to be a spring that holds this so it's straight up. And the reason why it has a spring is so it can come forward and then shift through like it does over here. See that go that goes forward and then over and then forward and then there. Okay, so if I pull that, so this would be reverse, this would be neutral, and this would be forward. So see how that pivot moves? right there. Now, the reason why I said that this is also for Toro Broncos is because if we come over here to this Toro Bronco that I'm working on, and the Cub Cadets are also the same idea. If you have a Cub Cadet that has the FNR shifter over here, it's the same basic concept. But on a Toro Bronco, there is an adjuster see it right there so that has a screw adjuster that you can adjust back and forth Let's see if i can get my finger on it right here so you pop this cotter pin out you drop this down and you tighten it or loosen it in order to change where your shifter location is and like i pointed out before you can see that there is a spring right here that holds the tension. And the other thing I'll point out is if these are abused, it will break this bracket piece right in here and these springs will 
shoot off and go into La La Land. So be careful, make sure this little tab actually still exists or else these shifters will not work correctly. So right now this machine's in forward, so if I pull the lever and then move it to neutral, and then I pull the lever and move it to reverse, see how it pulls against the spring? And while I'm attempting to demonstrate this, apparently I have to go and pet Fuzz because she knows that when I have the camera I'm trying to focus and therefore she'll get pet. So there we go. I hope that was helpful for you and I hope it helps you fix your situation with your yard machine or your Troy built Bronco that refuses to shift. Um, yeah, and the skinhead haircut is not on purpose. I got stung in the back of the head six times yesterday and had to uh, buzz it off in order to be able to get to the uh, sting marks. By the way, if you're like me and you're allergic to bees, wasps, and hornets, and they end up swelling up where they sting you or bite you or whatever really bad, if you coat the area with tiger balm, it will help with the swelling going down and will stop the pain from the swelling. But hey, have a good day and good luck with your project.